Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at Twitter lists. So if you're like me, you found so many interesting people to follow on Twitter that it's hard to keep track of everyone's posts. Well, one way to organize it is to create Twitter lists, just groups of people that you follow, and you can just see that group's posts at one time. Let's take a look. So here I am in my Twitter account and I can see one of the tabs up at the top here is lists. Click on that and I can see that I've got three lists that I've created. And when I select one, say the Apple list here, it will show me only the tweets made by people that are in that list. So to create a new list, I can go to lists here and click on create a list. I can then enter a name for the list, a description if I want, and I can choose whether to make it public or private. Of course, private ones can only be viewed by me and they're handy for making, say, a small subgroup of just your friends and you want other people to see your list or use your list. A public list, though, can be viewed by other people. So you can create one based around a topic, say, and then have other people find that list on your page and decide to follow that list as well. Adding someone to a list is pretty easy. All you do is you find a tweet by them or you go to their Twitter page. Let's go to this tweet here of my friend John and I can click on his name and see stuff here on the right. And one of the things I can do here is click on the menu here and you can see I get a list of lists. And here's my three lists here and I can simply check off one of them and he'll now be a part of that list. Now you can view more information about your list by simply clicking on the list tab here and clicking on lists by you. Now then list them all here. You can delete one of them. You can also choose to edit information about one of your lists there. You can also choose to look at other people's lists. So for instance I can click on my friend Jay's account right there and I can look at his lists by clicking on the tab right there and see which lists he has created and which lists he follows. You can see he's got several that he's got listed there and several that he follows as well. And I can click on those lists then to go deeper into it and see the information about that list. So you can create lists for yourself to follow. You can also create lists around a topic and curate that list and have other people follow it as well. So you can see here I can go back to my Apple list that I've created and there's a view list page here. It gives you a shorter URL. You actually can get rid of the pound exclamation point even and just give people a direct link to say Rosen's slash Apple. If I go back to this filmmakers list for instance I can click on follow this list and then I will see all the tweets by the 396 filmmakers here in my Twitter stream. I can also return to this page at any time I want and unfollow the list. So basically Twitter lists make Twitter a lot more usable if you want to follow a lot of people. You can divide people up into different categories and take a look at different topics by using your list. You can also quickly follow a whole bunch of people around one topic by finding a list and following it. So I hope you like this look at Twitter lists. Keep in mind that the Twitter web interface and the interface in various different apps and applications you use to follow Twitter, they change all the time. So the way you might follow lists and create lists is going to change slightly, but the basic idea remains the same. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.